Good morning, folks. It's me, Brent Copeland, and it's that time for some morning coffee. A little Java for your Friday. Ah, some good beans. It's good stuff. Also, I want to let you know about a uh, deal coming up on Spread Shirt for the store. Uh, they're going to be doing free shipping from the uh, 27th to the 30th, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, me, what do I have going on? That's, that's what we're talking about today, right? Uh, I got uh, loot crates coming in. I got uh, uh, my uh, good friend, Mr. Box. Uh, let me know that uh, he picked it up from Curse for me and left it at the studio. So I'm going to hit the studio today, get it. And so I'll do a loot crate video this weekend with my kids. That'll be good. Speaking of my kids... My son's uh, playing hooky today. He uh, did, wasn't feeling that good. Uh, so I told him he couldn't play any TF2 today if he's really sick. So um, I don't know. Is that a bad dad? Should I let him play TF2? He'll probably feel better in a little bit. Whatever. He's a good kid. Does really good at school. If he wants to play hooky every once in a while. Just don't tell him I said that. Also, getting ready for Halloween. Oh, I put the skeleton down somewhere I can't reach. Do got the fiddle, though. Fiddle! That's not how you play fiddle. Anyway, going to be decorating for Halloween this weekend with the kids. Can't wait to that. we got a bunch of plastic skeletons and those fake grave things. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Also, I'm, I'm trying to get the audio working at home. As you can see, I've brought home one of our... One of our uh, good mics for now, and I'm trying to find a best way to get it into uh, sounding good. I'll figure it out. We'll get some good sound eventually. Eventually, one day. Promise. Also, on the video front, I'm trying to get some videos done that uh, sound being the main issue, but I've got a lot of footage. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do some heavy breathing audio to go with it. That would be great, right? I'm also going to be starting Safari Masters next week with Maz. And possibly Afro Monkey as well. That will be fun. Um, I want to start... I need to start just a series by myself, too. Uh, that way I don't have to rely on other people to record and I can record whenever I want to. What would y'all like to see? Uh, I'll leave this up to everyone. Did y'all see, uh, I can do something on the village server, which is just survival. I can do, uh, captive, possibly. I need to get the server set up right. Um, I could do, like, misquest. Start that back up. Uh, I could really do like the Safari Masters, but just the building of like the Safari. It's a little more survival. Um, or something I haven't even thought of. You you let me know in the comments of this video. Video on YouTube, and I appreciate it. Also, on uh, Saturday, I will be I don't know what's actually gonna happen but this weekend the Minecraft server edition is going down so if you want to see more of that you can go to their website um, which I guess is minecraft server edition dot com or something just search for it that's what Google's for you don't have to know any uh, URLs right so just so just search for it, and uh, I'm supposed to do something at, at 11 a.m. Central on Saturday. I don't know if they'll interview me or I'm just going to talk stupid for an hour. No clue. So, should be good stuff, right? Or horrendous stuff. Remember PAX? Oh, God! That was bad. Um, so, what else? That's about it with me. I mean, besides trying to, you know nail stuff down my living room is full of crap because i brought home all the stuff from the studio pretty much everything yesterday that was mine um so my wife wants me to get that taken care of this weekend so i will i will 
as much as I can. So let's move on to some some uh, stuff. Like, uh, does anybody know what happened this day in history? In 2003? It's not that long ago. Huh? Here's a little hint, a little visual aid for you. The supersonic Concorde jet made its last commercial passenger flight where it traveled at twice the speed of sound from New York uh, to uh, London. And this was uh, October 24th, 2003. And this is the, uh, uh, the British Airways jet. It carried 100 passengers, including actress Joan Collins, model Christy Brinkley, and an Ohio couple who paid $60,000 on eBay for two tickets. Two. Dose. It's 30000 a piece for a round trip. Uh, those trips normally cost $9,000 on the Concorde. And it show, I guess, I guess it was worth it for the last trip. And this thing, it goes really, really, really fast. I believe it gets you from New York to London in like three, three and a half hours. But it, uh, in the end, it just cost too much and, and not enough people were able to pay the high flights, so they had to close it down. So that's the Concord. Uh. Uh, uh. Also, the Uber fact of the day. You know about the Mad Hatter? You know what that's from? It actually originated in the 19th century when the workers from England were often poisoned by the mercury in felt. These were the uh, in the haberdasheries and, and where they they made hats. And it would cause them to become completely delusional and crazy. And so they would say mad as a hatter. So uh, the hatters were apparently crazy as... As portrayed in the Alice movie uh, with the Mad Hatter. Who was mad as a hatter? So that's just a creepy, creepy look. Whatever. It's Johnny Depp. Everybody swoons over Johnny Depp, right? Anyway, I thought that was interesting little factoid. Um, something else that I saw today, because uh, people have been asking me to get the settings fixed on Twitch. Uh, and the way you do that is become a partner with Twitch. And I hadn't really been worried about partnering with Twitch. But I, I want to make sure I can get as quality feed to everybody as possible. And if people need to downgrade for like phones and stuff, then I want that to be possible. <clears throat> um, so anyway... I applied for the partnership, and I'm nowhere near the numbers they ask for. Um, so I don't, I don't really have any hope of it happening right now. But if it happens, cool. Uh, while I was there, though, I found this chart on um, their their uh, metrics of. Uh, let's see, this is the percentage of U.S. peak internet traffic produced by companies uh, networks and I thought this is interesting Netflix 32% Google 22% Apple 4.3% wow it really goes down after Google right and then Twitch is up there at 1.8 uh, and then down we go by just a little bit Hulu Facebook Valve Amazon Pandora and Tumblr so I thought that was quite interesting to see what the peak internet traffic was for those companies. Very cool. And I guess while I'm here, I can actually show you what you need to partner. Um, let's see. To apply for partnership, <clears throat> what they want, the numbers they want, is a concurrent 500 plus viewership. Um... And regular broadcast, which we do. Uh, and then, so that's it. You know. Uh, if you're a newcomer to Twitch, 
they want your YouTube to be 15,000 uh, viewers per video and 100,000 subs. So, no, I'm not there either. So, I don't know. I guess I could have lied and said I was that the YouTube was Dead Workers Party. Um, maybe I'll do that with the Shaft application. I don't know. Uh, do what I can to get y'all what I can. Right? So anyway, that leads us to your favorite part of the show. Or maybe it's not. If it's not, you might be leaving right now. But these are the questions submitted on yesterday's show where we talked about Johnny Carson and twerking. Hope I didn't twerk anybody up over that one. Anyway. JC Green. How you doing? I know you're in the chat. And also asked, do you attend any of the big or small conventions that a lot of the other popular YouTubers attend? Minecon, PAX, uh, and how did you meet good? Um, I've attended some of them in the past. Uh, this year, it's really just going to come down to if I can afford it or not. Like, I'd love to go to like PAX South because I could actually drive to that one. And so that would save a little bit on... Uh, you know, like plain uh, stuff. Who knows? Maybe Bebop would let me stay with him too to save a little more money. I don't know if that's close enough to him. But, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's just uh, comes down to money uh, this year. I'm going to try something and see if people want to do this. Is um, I, I know the service that will take a hundred photographs and put them in a booklet uh, for like three dollars so I was thinking if I if people wanted me to basically go around these conventions and take pictures me with uh, other youtubers and stuff uh, just things at the conventions and give you a nice hundred photograph book of that convention uh, for like 10 bucks. It's like 10 cents a photo, right? Wait, is that... Penny a photo? I don't know. It's cheap for the photos. Um, so, if I could sell enough of those for each convention, then maybe that would pay, or at least help pay the way to go. I don't know. Would you, would you be interested in that? Do you think I could... I don't know. Try. Maxo 11 x Oh, and, and how did I meet Good? Uh, really from the shaft. Um, we had him as a guest, and he actually uh, flew down to the studio for the show and, uh, you know, see him in, at various conventions and stuff. Really good guy. Uh, Max 11 x says, my question of the day would be, I don't watch that kind of thing, so... Oh, that was... Okay. Answered my question of the day. Okay, so we can move on. The question I want to know is, when did you meet your wife? It's just something I'm interested in. Not creepy at all. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually met my wife uh, bartending. Uh, well, I wasn't bartending yet, but uh, I got a job at Chili's. This was a, quite a while ago. Uh, probably about, man, what was say? Not 20 years. But yeah, close to 20 years ago, I guess. Um, I started working at Chili. She was the trainer at the time. Trained new employees. And, uh, you know, when you work at a restaurant and stuff, you, you hang around with everybody a lot. And so, you know, we hung around. Uh, we actually, I started bartending and uh, became the co training captain with her and so we were both like the lead trainers and we bartended together had a great time so eventually we started dating and and uh you know led to more from there so so yeah met her there uh pixel says yo hi brent you seem to have really interesting mmo ideas have you ever played any of the fable games i have briefly uh not much though um, it was one of those games that, uh, it, it didn't have an, 
like it wasn't an online to me so I, I don't know I wasn't interested in playing single player stuff so much okay uh, JBJ Blaze forgot his question uh, so we'll move on <laughs> sleep is creativity Woot, awesome show, mate. Uh, Brent Copeland rules. Thank you. Pindog! I think I saw Pindog in the chat room this morning. Grew up with my parents watching Carson. After him, I always liked Letterman. Now, I don't watch TV. Netflix and YouTube is my video entertainment. Not a question, but my morning coffee mug is on its way to me. Hooray! Awesome! That's right. You can get uh, your own morning coffee mug on... Um... Spreadshirt. I'll put the links down below eventually. Uh, it'll be in the video, but I'll get them on Twitch too. And I've run out of coffee, and my throat is is dry. But we're almost done, so I'll get through this. Uh, uh, Victor has some contests. Should I do this contest stuff with Victor? Y'all let me know if y'all would like to see that. Or if I should just uh, ignore the Russian fake Russian ignore the fake Russian uh, no it sounds like fun smite law like probably beat me in all these competitions but that's okay still be fun maybe last but not least Caleb Thurman says oh rest in peace Duffy Jones sad face I think that's because Duffy Jones retiring because Duffy Jones names and he's going... I don't know what he's going with. If he's going back to higher definition? Yadeo? Tadeo? I don't know. Anyway, everybody, y'all have an incredible weekend. If you want to... Uh, if you need a question to answer in the comments and you don't have a comment... You can answer this. What are you going to do for Halloween? Like, what costume are you going to be? Are you making it yourself? Um, or is it just off the shelf? Let me know all about it. If you got photos. I don't know if you can, can't really post photos, can you? Um, but yeah, no. I love Halloween. It's my favorite one. But if I can get uh, photos of your costumes, and we'll do this leading up to Halloween, maybe pre and post, and uh, uh, maybe I can show like all your costumes and stuff in a video. That'd be really cool. But uh, okay, so I'm s I'm going back and um. Answering JBJ's question. Apparently I missed something and he's in chat yelling at me nicely. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but he says, uh, what's the worst and our most procrastination you've found yourself sucked into? Uh, and I'm not really sure what exactly that question means so much. Uh, if if uh, I I would say if you're asking like what what have I procrastinated on the most kind of thing <coughs> I would say a couple years ago I was getting into uh, wedding videography and and uh, uh, it took me probably over a year to edit their videos and it was horrendous like don't ever get into wedding videography don't, not unless that's you oh man just don't do it that's from the captain captain Sony you better watch out because that wedding videography is not cool I mean it is if you like it but it takes a certain person and I don't think that's me <coughs> and before I cough everyone off the stage, I'm going to say have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to y'all on Monday. Chowda! I don't even know what that means, but I said it anyway. I should hate myself just a little bit. Bye! <laughs>